Hi guys, welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and thank you for joining me for another story read aloud. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the stories that I share. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever played rock, paper, scissors? Of course you have, just about everyone has. But do you know how that game came to be? Well, I don't know if this is the real story, but I do love every single book from the author Drew Daywalt. So I'm thinking this one's gotta be, gotta be pretty accurate. It's The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Now on the cover, you can see the rock, the piece of paper, and the pair of scissors, right? Read along with me to find out what happens. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew DeWalt and illustrated by Adam Rex. One, two, three, go! Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of Over by the Tire Swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior! Rock versus Clothespin! Rock is victorious! Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. Whoa, that apricot looks mad. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious! Ugh, I am smooshed. And yet, smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on lonely and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There, he met a large and square monster. What do you think that is? I think it's a printer. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. Paper wins again! Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. 
I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive entangling powers. It's getting intense in there. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. That must have been a piece of cake for her. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There, she met her most fearsome adversaries yet, dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, O oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur chicken-shaped nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait. No, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day in the great cavern of Two Car Garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus Scissors! An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. Oh boy, what happened? This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, O oh great knight of paper. Well, that's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper! You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. The end. Wow, did you know that they were powerful warriors? Finally, the mystery is solved of how the first rock, paper, scissors battle began, and I know it still rages on today because my kids play it all the time, especially when they have to decide who's gotta do something first, like brushing their teeth. <laughs> if you enjoyed the story, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep playing rock, paper, scissors, and happy reading. Bye.